All right, hello people. I just rang up the courts and to find out if there was uh, any outstanding balance or a warrant on that the little thing from the young lady at this address. Uh, all to do with Marston's coming here the other day. This is what I found out. I'm going to put, put the, the telephone call on here. You have a listen and tell me what you think. Leave them the messages below and I can't believe it either. You have a listen. This is Norfolk Magistrates Court. Our opening hours are 9 a.m. until 5 p.m. If you know the extension number you look like. Right, yeah, uh, somebody ran up. A man called on your behalf back in October. We advise you it's with Marston. What's that, sorry? Right, somebody ran back in October and we were advised them that it was no longer with us. It's with Marston's now. So you'd have to contact Marston's. But this is the, your problem. I can give you the number for them. Is my um, fine been paid, though? That, no, you'd have to, it would go to Marston's. So you'd have to contact Marston's to see what's outstanding with them because the set's no longer with us. It's with Marston's. Is there any so they're the ones that can tell you what the outstanding amount is. Oh, is there any outstanding warrants? Sorry? Is there any outstanding warrants? I can't hear you. Is there any outstanding warrants? Only the one, this one with Marston. So there isn't then? No, so, I can give you the number for them. Hello? Hello? Hello, yeah, I can give you the number for Marston. Hang on, hang on a second. Can I just pass you over to someone? Hang on a sec. Yeah. Hello? Hello. Oh yeah. Um, what, what, what we're trying to find out is if her outstanding court fine is all paid because we, we basically paid the outstanding that was on the court fine. Can I just explain, it's not with us any longer, it's with Marston, so you'd have to contact Marston to see if it's all cleared up. Yeah, but they're, they're trying to come across with some uh, serious money, uh, which obviously with seven children and they're trying to say that there's £300 outstanding. Well, the, 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 the original court fine has all been paid. Yeah, but the, phone, the, the account is with them now, so if there is any outstanding balances, they'd be able to advise you about not us. Right, would, would, they have a court, was that, would that be a court warrant they, they are coming here with? Yeah, it would be, yeah. So, could, could you, could you uh, tell me what judge signed that, please? Tell you what judge signed it. Yeah, to sign that there, there was a warrant. We have magistrates. Sorry? We don't have judges. Alright, what magistrate did then? I can't advise you what ma actual magistrate advised that. Because you know. uh, she never see, she never was asked to come back to court for non-payment of fine or anything like that. No, it's just it goes into arrears. We don't, we don't have, we don't need to do that. If, it, if an account goes into arrears, it automatically can go to the distress warrant. So who, who, who's, who signed the distress warrant then? Right, I don't know. I well, if you, if you ring Marston's... Well, no, I don't need to... No, Marston's are a third party. I'm asking you, who the court, who are saying that there's a distress warrant, what a magistrate give, I need to know what magistrate signed that warrant. Well, it's going to be a magistrate, it's probably be a legal advisor. Well, they've got no jurisdiction then, so basically that paper... Unfortunately, yeah, they have. They've got, of course, how can they do that? How can a legal advisor sign warrants? Hello. 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 Hi. Yeah, uh, we had designated powers issued to us by the justices clerk. Well, that's 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 not legal, is it? That's not legal or lawful. No, it's not. It's actually legal. A, a justices clerk has given us designated powers in order to do that. Yeah, but they we need so they we need, need our don't they need our consent to do that. Sorry? Do they need our consent for it to become lawful? We need your consent to do that? Yeah. No, we, no, we don't. We have designated powers in order to do that. And can you, do you tell me what where, where you got that power from, please? Can you... From the justice uh, clerk. So the justice is clerk. Yeah. And it's just a clerk, not a judge, not a magistrate, okay. not anything. Justice's clerk has authorised us to have designated powers, yes. So who gives him that authority? 
Okay. I think you're gonna to have to speak to a, a solicitor or. Oh no, they're just as bent as you lot. Can you can you just tell me who yeah. who give who give them that power? Right, hold a second. Probably the government. The, probably the prime minister. But just hold on a moment. Right. Thank you. Hello. Hello. Right, the Justice Clark is an employee of Her Majesty's Court Service. Right. Who has those designated powers in order to do that. Yeah, but who gives... The government, gi the government have given him the authority. He's, well, that's, to do that. That's, that's, that doesn't ring true. No. Right. Um, we would see the the lady in question didn't know nothing about this. So can you uh, make an appointment for her to sign a, uh, a declaration? At uh, Great Yarmouth Magistrates Court because she knew nothing about this. No, I can't. I thought she did. She did know something about it, and she agreed. She called us back in July um, and agreed terms with us. Yeah, that's right. We 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 did. We we admitted that. See what the what the problem was that you sent her a card. Yeah. Yep. And she she started to pay it as she should do. Yeah. Right. And then, for some reason or other, when she was going to the post office, the, the post office, where she was paying it, was declining it, saying that there was a problem with the card. Right. Right? She then f phoned the court, and they said, well, there shouldn't be a, a problem with the card. Do your thing. Right? So she went back down there, and then they, they, they declined it again. Right now, you're only talking about thirty pound. Thirty pound. What what, what was outstanding? Try somewhere else. Sorry. Did she, didn't get, did she try somewhere else? Yes, that's what that's what, what I'm trying to explain to you, and it just kept declining it. So what eventually happened? Like all of a sudden, we get a letter from Marston. So we knew nothing about like it was getting into trouble or anything like that. There was no problems. And Marston's claiming that the £30 was outstanding, which has been paid. So basically, that squashes any warrants that you had, right? Because it was paid. No, it doesn't. Yeah, it, it does. Still, no, it doesn't squash any warrants that were, with us, that were paid with us. Because it hasn't been paid to us. Any money that you might have paid for us would have gone on to Marston's. Marston's had the debt. You have to pay the debt. Did they buy the debt from you? Sorry? Did they buy the debt from you? They buy the debt from us. Yes. They don't buy the debt from us. So what do they do then? Well, you just give it to them for nothing. We we pass it over to them, yeah, to them for collection. Well, and they they just do, do get collect the money and keep it, do they? No, and then they pay us some, and obviously they keep their some. So <laughs> you crooked. People. Well, I've paid my fine. So the fine's paid, so there's no outstanding warrant anyway. So the yeah, fine was paid, so the and the court—it was the court that took the money. Marston's will be contacting you. Yeah, well, they've already contacted me. If you watch YouTube, they've already been on it. <laughs> and I'm telling you now, this conversation will be put on YouTube. You're not allowed to do that. That's Don't tell me what I'm allowed to and what I'm not allowed to. Terminate this call. Be very rude. Yeah. Bye.